what you're looking at is the stat line for Devin DuVernay, the wide receiver from Texas. Uh, slot receiver, new to the Ravens, finished with 106 catches for 1,386 yards, 9 TDs, uh, 13.1 yards per catch. What you're going to see is um, a guy that's strong as a bull for his size, um, does a great job of blocking. He's no block, no rock, stamped, sealed, and approved. Um, not a lot of nuance to his routes, but extremely tough. Uh, a yak guy, but with what we're going to ask him to do, he can get better with his route running and, and things, and he's going to help us out. He's going to help keep guys out of the box. So without further ado, here is Devin DuVernay. Welcome to the Baltimore Ravens. <laughs> This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up and while you're down there make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button thanks today we're going to be talking about Devin DuVernay um, wide receiver from Texas uh, one of the Ravens draft picks from this weekend um, upon first look I watched the LSU game which he had 12 catches for like 150 Then I also watched the um, Oklahoma game which he had eight catches for like 60 something yards and watching those two games, I was not very impressed. Uh, all of his routes were, they were slants, they were bubbles, they were outs, they were uncontested things that didn't show a little, didn't show very much nuance. He had a, a couple of uh, corner routes in there that were okay and had a little bit of nuance. And I was starting to feel like we had a a, a guy that may not be as as much hype he'd be un he's too hype for the value he's gonna bring to us is what i'm trying to say but then i turned on the tcu tape which was I, this is gonna be the last game i watch you know then i'm gonna move on to somebody else then i saw a guy that can help us i saw a guy that can do things in his routes that can get downfield and won't just be a quick gadgety guy now what i will say before we get into this film his biggest asset is Jack uh, the quick slants that he get to? If he make, he normally makes the first guy miss. And if there's nobody in the middle of the field, you're gonna see what happens. You know, when the film starts. His worst attribute to me is his routes, and I, I think that's because he wasn't asked to do a lot of different things at Texas. So I'm not gonna say he can't run routes, but it's just not a, not a lot of variety on on tape. So with that being said, he and he also is no block, no rock approved. Uh, if you watch your know, video of him, you'll see when they do when he's not the guy getting the ball. Uh, if it's a run play or if somebody else is getting a bubble or a tunnel screen, he takes his butt out there and blocks. So he's no block, no rock uh, approved, and you will see that stamp probably as I say it. But let's get into the tape. This is him highlighted right. Let me back up a little bit. Right there. And versatility. His very first play is just something different. You can add this with Lamar and maybe send Lamar on a route or something like that. You know, never know. Some kind of Philly, Philly special type stuff. In fact, we know we got a guy that can throw it when need be. Hey, that just gives um gives OC some something more to play with. Nothing real special on this play. I just wanted to show you that he can throw the ball and can do some gadgety stuff. Um, you know, because for some reason we hand the ball off and nobody decides they want to guard Lamar, you know, Lamar can get downfield quick. Especially on the linebacker or defensive end that got to try to, you know, guard, play the backside end or something. The next play. There's Devin there highlighted. And this is a lot of what I saw in the text. Well, not this one. All right, let me back it up. So I was a little bit ahead of myself. There's Devin here. Right now, he knows he has to get in that space. He has to fit in that space. So he does a good job of, when it's zone coverage, finding the grass, the open grass, and not running into defenders. And you'll see that on this play and another play later on. That's the space he's trying to get to because they're running a, a four-verse concept, well, a three-verse concept. And you got he got to work the middle of the field. He just got to get open in the middle of the field. So he, get, he gets past the linebacker and just kind of sits it down. He throttles down a little bit. So the ball can get in there before the safeties. Does a good job just throttling down. He, the ball has to be there before the safeties. Quarterback let it go now. 
and just throttling down. No, no need to keep running full speed and get to them safeties quick. Right now, there's no need to be running full speed. Get to those safeties and let them either break the pass up, intercept the pass, or break you up. Throttle down, get in the open spot, ball delivered. Next play. This is highlight, Devin highlighted right there. This is what I saw. I saw a lot of this versus LSU. You don't get this bubble. And this is not the one, but a, a bubble early in the play, he caught one and just ran over um, Delpit. Just, just Delpit tried to hit him. He threw his shoulder at him, and Delpit went straight to the ground face first. So this is a no yards throw. This ball is thrown behind the line of scrimmage. His jack ability, and he just turns into a little thick running back out there. So he turns a minus three yard throw into a 13 yard, 15 yard gain. So that's 18 yards, 18 yards before he gets the ball, after he catches the ball. He catches the ball on the, that's the what, 38? He catches it on the 38. And gets to the 20. That's that that yak is that's that's different. That's different. That that can help. That can help keep guys out of the box. And remember, we need we need more guys out of here so we can run the ball. We we don't need a bunch of guys up here. This little this right here can help us. And initially I thought this was all he could do. There's Devin pointed with the arrow right there. Little pick wrap. Now, on this play right here was fourth and three versus LSU. And they run the little screen. Now, just watch his jack. Watch his jack. This is a... Let me see if I can have to stop it so I can talk to you about it. All right, this guy right here, who's a D lineman. I don't know if you can see my arrow right here. He's going to jump out and try to defend the middle of the field. He's going to be part of uh, the, the attempted tackle on Devin. And watch him just run through it. He's a big, uh, well, not a big, a small muscle. Just just all muscle out there with speed. And those two guys are about to try to close in. This is the D-tackle I pointed out. This is the guy that was originally covering him and man. He's going to run through that. And now his speed shows up. So he's going to help us, he's gonna help us make defenses play 11 on 11. And then you play 11 on 11... Whoever gets the ball, whoever's the runner, all he has to do is make one guy miss, and then it's a big game. May not be a touchdown, but it's going to be a big game. Devin highlighted here, and this is a smash route that was, it was an okay smash route. I would have liked him to push the defender more toward the middle of the field to make the quarterback have an, an easier throw, but he didn't. Quarterback happened to fit it in there, and it happened to be a tough catch for, for DuVernay. But had he pushed that safety toward the middle of the field, like on that track that the arrow's there, he would have had a lot more grass to, to get this ball in there. So now he got to fit it in a tight window. And the window is sidelines here. The ball's just being thrown. This guy's closing in. That's a, that's a tight window to get it to. So he has to make a leaping catch, toe tap, and then get it down. Had he pushed that defender more to the middle of the field, that would not have had to happen. Right now, if he start pushing him this way, that means the defender got to defend. Defender has from here to here. So he got to defend that because you can't let playing over two. You can't let nobody get in the middle of the field. You just can't. You can't You can't let nobody split the defenders. And so he, he if he push him this way, that brings this safety here. Then that gives him more room to complete the pass up here in this open spot. But he does complete it. He makes a good catch. You know, drop his, and I'll talk about drop percentage in, in a minute. This is him here. Oh, the same play. This is the same play. Yeah, same play. Let's go to the next one. All right, now, this is where New Ones finally decide to show up in his routes. I don't know if Coach went to the – they went and looked at the iPads or whatever and talked about it, but this is where New – and this is a – this is a post route. This is where New Ones finally start to show up in his routes. This him, watch, watch the footwork right after this. He's going to give him a little – Little slide, slide euro type step, little quick one two, and gonna turn the defender hips. Look at that. Slow it down. Boom boom. Got the guy. The defender is off balance right here. He's off, way off balance. Now, if the ball was coming to him, 
Look at all that space he got. Look at all that space the quarterback got to throw to him if the ball was coming to him. Simply because of that, that nuance in his route. He was able to open that guy up, boop, boop, and get, and get it in there. That's what I'm talking about, nuance in your route. You can't just run them how they're drawn on paper. At high school and maybe JUCO and and maybe as a freshman in college you will, but you, eventually you got to get some nuance in them routes. If you can get new, the earlier you can start developing that nuance in your routes and still get to where you're supposed to be at the right time, the better you're going to be. Next play. All right, coming in in motion here. Now, and I, I sent a message to a bunch of our Ravens YouTubers that said, talked about him and his drop rate. His drop rate is extremely low. So, boy, I'm watching a whole game so far and almost through with this Oklahoma game, I sent them a message saying, I see why his drop rate is so low. Because he only gets swing passes, bubbles, out routes, and, and uncontested you no know, balls. So, almost through two games, I didn't see a contested ball. This is the first one I saw. All right, quarterbacks and scramble drill. And this, is, this shows his football IQ too now. Quarterbacks and scramble drill. So I got to, whatever my original route was, it's out the window. I got to mirror the quarterback. So I had to come back down this line because that's the way the quarterback coming down the line. Guys all over him, he makes the catch. That's the first contested catch I saw. And I gave you a back view of it too. There's Devin right there. And now, speaking of route running, what I would like to see I would like this foot to be more up under the center of his body. That way his step away from it will be larger. If this foot is, is, mo is if they don't step outside the framework of their body, they get a larger first step when they plant and go a different direction. So when you when you stick that foot in the ground on your, your final step before you plant, it needs to be right up under your shoulder. That way the, the, the direction in which you're going, you got a bigger first step. Now here comes scramble drill. This guy's all over. He makes the catch. Which is just, like I said, this is the first contested catch I've seen him make. Which is good. Which is good. And it kind of put my my doubts at, at ease about his, his his drop rate being a one of those fictitional stats because he all, all he caught was bubbles and slants and whatnot. Now versus TCU. And this is the game that gave me made me gave me faith back in our pick right here. Gonna have another corner route. Now, he doesn't work much, but because of alignment, he has a little bit more room to work with. But he steps at this safety enough to keep him at that hash. And now look how much more room he has to work with. When he ran that, that smash, that corner earlier, he was kind of breaking out here by the numbers and, and Sam had to try to fit it in a, in a small window. Now he got maybe 10 yards to work with, maybe eight yards to work with as far as what, trying to put this in the box. Ball's delivered. Now, this time he don't have to jump for it. He got both feet down. He can secure the catch and make sure he stay in bound. And he get a first down. Just that little nuance in the route. That stuff make a difference. Little bitty details make a difference. Just because he forced that guy to stay on the hash, he forced him to stay on the hash by taking two steps at it. Easy. Like stealing. He is highlighted there. Making guys miss. No, this is not making guys miss. This is finding grass. Now, he knows right now that he's running a, a whatever his letter is named in their offense, and a crosser route. So he's going under one. He's going under him, over the next guy, and he's going to sit in all this open grass that's about to come open. Look at that. All that's open. That's him right there in this, this huge open space, which is a great play design by Texas to me. This is great play design. The quarterback just has to stay oh, stay alive long enough to get him the ball. Great play design. Goes under the first guy, over the next, and just runs the grass. Under that guy, over the next, wide open space. Great route. Great football IQ by both of them, and great play design by the uh, OC for Texas. Here, I think this is one of the yak plays. 
Yep, running a little quick slant. And what this play reminds me of is the touchdown Hollywood caught versus Miami in the, in the opening game. Did a little RPO, and they, he delivered the ball. He made that guy miss. Now it's off to the races. That's about a 60-some yard game. Which we'll, we'll take that any day. The RPO, he makes the first, makes the guy guarding him miss, wins his one-on-one -on -one battle, and turns into a big play for the offense. So instead of just having Hollywood that can do that now, now we got this guy that can do the same thing. We got this guy that can do the same thing. Because let's say this was Snead. He he catch that ball and, and probably be down right there. So, I mean, even though it's a first down, this goes from being a, a first down at the minus 42 to a first down at the... At the six, maybe. At the at the lowest, the six. I've been asked, how can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel. My goal is to get a telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. So go on over to Patreon.com backslash zip the tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans, and again, thanks everyone for the support. And head on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tally. This is the last play I have. He put some new ones in this route, and I love it. I, re I really do. That's Devin right there highlighted. They're going to try to bring up, they're going to disguise they run the blitz, but they give it away. So now he knows his man covered. It's cover one. Cover one because this dude has the deep hash. I mean, the deep middle. No, I'm sorry, not deep middle. He got deepest, the deepest. Everybody else man to man. The other three guys are man to man. And it's crazy because he was lined up like a two shell. The guy over here came. Now he has to try to sink back. Good job by Devin and the QB. Uh, Devin by winning this one-on-one -on -one matchup. The QB by not leading him to the middle of the field. Kind of fading him out over the top. Let's go back to the to the one-on-one -on -one matchup. Fake outside. Swing back inside. Now stays right on his stem. He does not fade back to the middle of the field because he knows this guy here. He stays straight up the field. The QB kind of throws it over that outside shoulder, which helps him out. Had he threw it to the middle of the field, been a pass breakup or even an interception, quarterback does a good job of helping him out. He does a good job of winning his individual matchup versus man. And he just did some extra with his route. Didn't just run straight up the field. Didn't let the dude put his hands on him. Gave him an outside move, stuck it back inside. Cause he he bit to try to take the outside away for some strange reason. I don't know why. And then he just he's lost. He sticks a straight middle of the field, which is good. Good throw, good delivery, good route, good football IQ, good finish of the route. Touchdown. And you'll see different, like if you go watch his highlights, you see him making a diving catch versus somebody. But I, I just can't do straight highlights. I got to go in and see the nuance, the the physicality, the the, the football IQ from, from full games. And so initially I was um, bummed about the pick. And then when I saw like his speed and whatnot and watched his highlights, I was hype about the pick. But then, then when I started doing film on him, when I watched Oklahoma, I watched LSU first, then I watched Oklahoma, I was, I was iffy about it. But the stuff that he showed me in the TCU game shows me that he he got what it takes. He got what it takes to fit what we're going to do because he don't have to be the man. If he had to be the man, it'd be different. But he don't. He, he's a complimentary piece to a, a what I think is a potent offense, and he's going to help get guys out of the box. When guys are out of the box, we're going, we're going to be able to run the ball. So thank you, Devin DuVernay, for – well, not Devin DuVernay. Thank you, EDC, for seeing that vision before I did, picking Devin, du Devin DuVernay. And um, he's going to be a good help to our offense. And so um, this is our what? What round pick was this? I don't remember. Anyway, it was a day two or three pick, but a good pickup because I didn't think he'd still be there as late as we got him. And um, so now it's on to Proche. Proche is coming up next. And this is Coach Evans with Sip the Tally Films. Thank you for coming. See you later. With the